Hello everyone, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2013 Range Rover Sports with a 5.0 liter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the timing chain on this Range Rover. So now I'm gonna bring you here under the hood so we can set up the timing chain. So we already got the chains out. So now we're gonna install the new chains and the new guides and the new tensioners. So the first thing you do is before you remove the chains, you have to make sure the marks line up before you remove the uh, chains. So we have special tools to hold the camshafts. So I already installed the tools. So there's a tool that goes to the back of the cams. So that tool over there, I hope you can see it. So this tool back here holds the cams in place, okay? So this one holds the exhaust camshaft and then this ear over here holds the intake camshaft, okay? So we're holding the driver's side and we're doing the same thing on the passenger side. So we have the same tool over here So right there, the same tool is holding the cams in place. So on the intake sprocket over here, there's this mark right there. I hope you can see it. There's this mark over there. And then there's another mark right over here. Okay, so our marks on the timing chain links, we will line them up with these marks over here on the phasers of the camshaft. So these are the marks on the driver's side. We have two marks over here on the passenger side. There's this mark here and then the other mark is down there. Okay. All right. So those are the marks for the cams and then the mark for the crankshaft is over here. So basically what you have to do over here on the crankshaft, you have to position the crankshaft key in the six o'clock position. Once you position the crankshaft key in the six o'clock position, there will be a special window on the uh, relacto wheel of the crankshaft that's gonna line up. So let's go under the vehicle so I can show you that. All right guys, so we are here under the vehicle. So right there is the crankshaft. I don't know if you can see the crankshaft key over there. So the key on the crankshaft is sitting at the six o'clock position. So that means the uh, piston on the first cylinder is a top dead center. And when we come back here towards the bell housing, so over here is the opening of the crankshaft sensor. So there is this timing tool, this tool over here, that we have to insert there. So this tool is gonna hold the uh, crankshaft, it's gonna hold the crankshaft stationary so that the crankshaft doesn't move when we line up the marks on the, uh, on the chains. So as you can see, it's a special tool right there. So this should slide in if our crankshaft is at the right position okay so as you can see I'm inserting that tool so right there it goes in so it goes in all the way because the crankshaft is at the right position so we already verified that so if it doesn't go in all the way you just have to keep spinning the engine until it slides in all the way okay so now I'm going to put the bolt that holds the uh, crank sensor in so this, again, this tool is only gonna go in if the uh, first cylinder is a top dead center, okay? If the piston on the first cylinder is a top dead center. Okay, so we already made sure that everything is lined up just to speed up the video. So right there, so we're gonna tighten this bolt now. We gotta get you a shirt made up, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
that's good so the bolt is tightened so now let's lower the vehicle so we can time the chains so I hope you guys can see these marks over here we have this yellow mark that's gonna go on this mark over here on this phaser so I'm gonna line this up So right there, as you can see, this link over here with this yellow mark is going to be lined up with that. And then there's another mark over here on the exhaust phaser. So right there, as you can see, that's lined up also. So that's good. All right. So since our marks are lined up on the camshaft sprockets, so now I'm going to slide our first guide. So there is a mark on this guide over here so I hope you can see that so this mark over here is gonna be lined up with this link over here that has the white mark so we're gonna slide this in all right so we got our first guide installed so now I'm gonna put the boards for this guide yeah I got all right so I'm gonna put this shop towel down here because I don't want to drop any boards in the oil pan And as you can see, as I'm installing these bolts, I can already tell that this link is almost lined up with our mark. So that's good. That's already a good sign. It tells me, this tells me that our engine is, I mean, the cams and the crankshaft are at the right position. So we got the first, we got the uh, plastic guide installed. So now we're gonna install the other guide, the metal guide that goes against the tensioner. So this one is gonna go over here. All right, so guys, we had to put this zip tie on to keep the chain on the crankshaft gear because we don't want the chain to fall. And you want the slack to be on the tensioner side, on the guide that goes against the tensioner. And the plastic guide shouldn't have slack on it because we're gonna take the slack off by using the tensioner. So we're holding this, we're holding the chain with the zip tie so that the uh, slack is on the uh, tensioner guide okay so everything looks good right so our marks right there are all lined up so we're good so now I'm going to install so I'm gonna install this oil jet so this thing sprays oil on the chains So again, we're gonna talk all of this stuff afterwards. The torque spec for this bolt is 45 inch pound. All right, so now the next step is gonna be installing the, uh, ch the tensioner. All right, so here's our new tensioner. So we're gonna install it.
All right, so as you can see, everything is falling in place. Our mark over here on the link, on the chain link, is pretty much on the mark over here on the uh, guide. So this mark over here is lined up, so we're good to go. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side bank. All right, guys, so we got the chain on on the passenger side. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our chain on over here, and then we're gonna line up the marks up here. So here is our mark on the intake cam. So once this one lines up, the other one should line up also. I hope you can tell right there. That's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but can you see that other mark? I see it, it's lined up. It's lined Hopefully up. you can see on the video. Okay, perfect. So we got both of our marks lined up here. So now we're gonna install our guide first. While we have all the slack over here, we're gonna install our guide. And then the mark on the guide is right over here. I hope you can see there. So this mark is gonna line up with this white link over here on the chain. So we're gonna slide this in. And then, that should be able to go on. I like how it went in because we have a lot of slack here, which is good because we should have more slack on the side where the tensioner goes. All right, so I'm keeping this rag down here in case I drop a bolt. What you don't want to do is dropping a bolt down there, so. All right, so now we're gonna get our chain on. The sprocket here. I have installed the tensioner. We're gonna torque all these bolts afterwards, so we just got them tight and snug. Now we're gonna double check our marks. We're gonna verify the marks and make sure our marks are lined up. The marks down here, and then the marks on the cams. If everything is lined up, then I'm gonna remove the release for the tensioners. So let's double check the marks. So here is the mark on the chain that goes to the passenger side and it's lined up with this mark over here. I hope you can see that. And then there's another mark over here on this link that's lined up with this mark. Okay, so down here we're good. So now we're gonna double check the marks up here. So the mark on this link over here is lined up with this mark over here on this phaser. That's good. And then the other one over here is also lined up with that. So we're good on this side. So let's double check this side here. So the passenger side, this link is lined up with this mark over here. And then the other one here is kind of hard to see. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, there is, is our mark and it's lined up. So we're good, okay? All right, so. Now I'm gonna snug these bolts over here. So I'm gonna release this tensioner first. That's released. Now we're gonna release this one. It's good. Now I'm gonna remove these zip ties. I'm gonna remove this one also. 
We removed the tool on the crankshaft. I also removed the tools on the back of the camshaft. So now I'm gonna spin the engine so we can double check our timing. So basically we're gonna spin the engine until our timing marks line up again, okay? So now let's spin the engine to verify that the engine is timed right. So now we're gonna spin the engine. And also we have to pay attention to how the engine spins. So this is an interference engine. If everything is off, the valves can touch the pistons and bend the valves. So you have to make sure that the engine spins freely as you spin it. All right guys, so this is it. All the marks are lined up. So here's the first mark. And the other mark is down there. I hope you can see that. And so now, once you get all these marks lined up, you have to get a tool to get the slack between the cams off. And that tool is this tool over here. Let me grab it. So you have to use this tool to get the slack of the cams. So basically what you do is you install this tool over here. So this little tooth here is gonna go on the gear, on the sprocket. So it basically goes down this way. And then you're gonna torque it. You're gonna use a torque wrench and torque it. You have to torque it up to 30 Newton meters, okay? And that will take care of the slack between the cams, okay? So, and here are the marks on the driver's side. There's this one. And then this one over here. I'm gonna show you the crankshaft marks. All right, so here are the marks on the crankshaft. There's this mark over here that lines up with the mark here on the guide, on this plastic guide. There's another mark over here on this chain link. It lines up with this mark over here on this guide. And our key is down here at the six o'clock position. So everything is good, guys. That's how you time a timing chain on this 5.0 liter engine. So after you get everything lined up, you have to spin it several times. So now everything is lined up. So once you get everything lined up and the engine spins smoothly, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna leave this right over here, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell us why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.